In other news, the Estate Agency Affairs Board is calling for the amendment of current regulations in order to make it easier for more black players to participate in the industry. Well, to discuss this and why the need for this transformation in this industry, I'm joined in the studio by the board's chief executive, Mamudupi Mushala. Ms. Mushala, good morning. Thank you very much for coming in. Good morning, Baden, and thank you for having me. I saw an article last week and that was talking about uh, this, this, this thing for transforming uh, the, the property industry. One would have thought 25 years on that transformation is taking place. Unfortunately not. That is why we've decided that we need to put specific measures in place in order not only to stimulate transformation but to ensure that transformation takes place. Because as figures stand currently, we have over, just over 45,000 estate agents. And of those 45,000 estate agents, only 5, 000, over 5,000 are black. And the large majority of those, 5,300 of those, are actually... Um, interns. So your qualified estate agents who are both full-time status and principals are just over a thousand. What are the and barriers to entry to this market, look, to this the, industry rather? There are many barriers to entry that we've picked up. Obviously because the industry is very commission-based, you find that sustainability is always a problem and if you come from a low-income base to stay in the industry for the long haul in order to make sure you realize the benefits is quite a challenge. But we also found out that there are quite a number of regulatory challenges that are in place. And as a regulator mandated with making sure that transformation transformation takes place, we then decided that we needed to remove all the regulatory, uh, um, 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 regula regulatory impediments in order to make sure that black estate agents come into the system. Is the idea that when you remove those impediments, you'll be facilitating, therefore, the entry and participation of black players in the space? Definitely. That was the intention. And we noticed that the impediments are in three specific areas. We noticed that their registration fees, which could be considered to be prohibitive, will also require estate agents to submit annual audit reports. We're, and in, in, in procuring those audit reports, they need to get auditors. We realize that could also be a prohibitive cost. We also realize that our educational requirements also require fees, and those are prohibitive costs. And as such, we then decided to put this PDI resolution in place that then does away with those requirements for certain classes of black estate agents. Was the resolution, which uh, I understand was approved last year, unanimously adopted by the board? Definitely. The board is 100% behind this resolution because they understand that it's a critical tool towards realizing transformation in the sector. But most importantly, they realize that without the specific tool, transformation will not be an immediate reality. But in order to make sure that we curtail and protect all interests, we made sure that it's not a perpetual um, um, exemption. So it's got a time on. limit? Correct. It's for a five-year period, and then we will assess, go back and reassess whether or not the people who've been given that exemption still qualify to, remain, to benefit Why from the exemption. Why has it taken the board so long to realize that it, it, it has the mandate to do so, to facilitate this? It can create an environment where there are certain exemptions for a specific period. Look, I think it was a work in progress because there are many initiatives that have been put on the table and there are many attempts have been made. But I believe, believe that as they've been evolving, they've then realized that the only way we really be able to realize immediate gains is to create this exemption and most importantly we noticed that the blocked number of estate agents black estate agents was increasing each year because as I sit here now we just have over 1,200 block estate agents who are blocked because of the very regulatory impediments that we want to take to remove and and if this resolution gets implemented properly those who are blocked will stand to benefit from this definitely they will but come there, are, there, the there is opposition I mean there are dissenting voices one of them is the African Forum, That's which correct. is now reaching to the Minister of Human Settlements, according to the report I saw last week, mm -hmm. to Lindy Sulu, saying this boils down to blatant racism and unfair discrimination, and they're going to challenge it in court, and they say it's unconstitutional. How do you respond to that? Because I know that you said you were going to try to meet with Afri Forum, according yes. to the reports I saw last week. Yes, now our initial uh, point of departure will be obviously to engage with Afri Forum, so that they fully understand our point of departure, but most importantly, we believe that we are on the right side of the law. We believe that they given the Constitution a, a very limited interpretation because the Bill of Rights is not absolute. It has um, limitations in terms of Section 36, which specify instances in which limitations can be placed in terms of a right that is enshrined in the Bill of Rights. And we believe that this policy that we're putting in place or the PDI resolution that we're speaking to falls squarely within that category because it's aimed at redressing, redressing historical imbalances. And as such, it would be justified in terms of the Constitution. Now, if I'm an 
Chairman uh, Black Estate Agent, I'm listening to this uh, interview. Uh, I've read the reports last mm. week and I've heard about this mm. resolution. What do I do to be able to be considered okay. in the next uh, five years? Look, what happens is that the, res the PDI resolution specifically speaks to the methodology. We have a section in terms of the Act whereby if a person wants to be exempt from certain provisions of the Act, they make a specific al application to the EAB. We then make a case-by-case -case assessment and make a determination whether that particular individual is entitled to that. But once we have had this engagement with AfriForum, we'll then indicate a way forward and an effective date for the resolution. Then all black estate agents will know that from that date, they can come through and make the application. Very briefly, Ms. Uh, Ms. Mukhtar, are you confident that legally uh, this uh, will stand any challenge? We are 150% confident. And that's why we want to engage with AfriForum because we, will, we believe we'll be able to convince them. But in the absence of that, we believe any court challenge we will be able to rise to the occasion and deal with those challenges. Thank you very much. Mamo Dupi Mutlana, the Chief Executive of the South African Estate Agency Affairs Board, speaking about the new resolution that's meant to help uh, the participation, the entry and participation of black estate agents.